Hello friends, Tanya here for Trinity Stamps and today I'm going to play with some rainbows and unicorns. What is a better way to spend a spring day? This is part of the new release. This is the Majestic Unicorn Stamp Set and Coordinating Dies and a Coordinating Stencil. Can you believe we're moving on to that trend? I love it. It creates this beautiful little unicorn and I am going to stamp this unicorn in some intense black ink which is a Copic friendly ink. I'm not using any Copics though today. So we'll stamp this beautiful unicorn and then we're going to take the I'm going to heat set this with my heat gun first so that none of that ink smears and then I'm going to take the coordinating stencils and we're going to do a little bit of a rainbow inking. I've decided that I want my little unicorn to be uh, a pretty blue so I'm going to take two distress inks I uh, believe this is speckled egg and salvage patina I believe yes I think that's what I used and I'm starting with the speckled egg and I'm adding that all over our sweet little unicorn this is going to be my lighter color and then I'm going to add the salvage patina which is more of a little a little more of a teal color but they combine together to make a nice almost sky blue and I'm just adding the salvage patina in some of the areas where I want her to be darker now I'm going to take the stencil off and you'll see that it quickly lines back up so that the mane and tail are the only things that are exposed and it masks off the body of our little unicorn. There is actually the little um, cheek here and I'm going to add some of the pink which is kitsch flamingo I believe and then I'm going to create a rainbow tail and mane. Now of course I'm sure lots of people are going to choose to do some rainbow feature because rainbows are amazing and they're pretty easy to accomplish using just three primary colors. So I've got the kitsch flamingo, I've got our salvage patina and we have squeezed lemonade and that creates a fun almost pastel rainbow effect here. And it's just blending right on down from the top to the bottom of our unicorn's mane and tail. This creates a pink, uh, orange, yellow, green, and blue here. And we almost are finished. There are two different stencils for the unicorn's horn. Oh, wait, I went back and I added a little more salvage patina. I wanted to darken that up just a little bit. Remember that Distress Inks do fade back a little bit as they dry and they do take a while to dry. Next I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to that unicorn's horn and then I'm going to add the the spiral detail of this and I think I am going to use a little bit of orange to make this a gold and orange or a gold looking horn and there you go that quickly colored our little unicorn with very minimal effort. Now to brighten that up just a little bit I'm going to put this back in my Misty. I did not remove my stamp and I didn't change the dimensions of my paper at all. That makes this the perfect way to go back and sharpen up those black lines after all of our um, stenciling. Now I didn't get them absolutely perfect when I was getting this image ready. I had fully planned to come back and add the black ink to the top after I was done with the stenciling. Now after the fact I decided that I did not uh, think she was special enough so I wanted to add some sparkle. I taped the stencil back down so that the body is the only thing showing and I'm using some liquid pixie dust and I'm going to spatter that all over her body. I want that to add a little bit of dappling to her body mostly on her little rump. I love that. I had actually spattered her with a little bit of water also to increase that dappled effect. 
Next, um, I did mention that I wasn't exactly thrilled with the horn. I think the orange was a bad call. Um, so I'm going to add a little something to that. But first, we're going to add all of the sentiments that come in this stamp set. There are so many cute ones. We've got the believe in yourself, the you're beautiful, um, the sending magical thoughts your way I think it says and the sparkle mail I think sparkle mail is my favorite I think that's amazing definitely going to use that on some cards now I did add some clear embossing powder with some iridescent glitter to these stamped sentiments I think that just really steps up your images and make them look so much more special and actually adds a little bit of a raised and shiny effect to them now there are coordinating dies for the unicorn and all of those sentiments plus these little star stamps. I think that's adorable. There's three different little stars. Two of them are solid. One of them is an outline and we're going to quickly die cut our little unicorn here. Just adding some of some uh, repositionable tape here to all of these dies and you can see how quickly they die cut or quickly they lined up. I'm going to take the three little stars. I want to show you how those line up and die cut. Also, I can pass, run that all through on one pass. And there are our beautiful sentiments die cut and our unicorn and her little stars. Look at that shimmer on her body and those beautiful flowing locks of rainbowness. Next, I'm going to take my clear wink of Stella sparkle pen and I'm going to add some sparkle to her mane and tail because that's just what she needs. She needs some streaks of sparkle. And here we're going to fix that unicorn horn finally. There is actually the spiral stamp that coordinates and I add a little bit of clear embossing ink on that and I'm going to emboss it with gold embossing powder. Now I squished this a little bit too hard when I pushed down on it but I still think it looks better than the orange and yellow stenciled spirals on that and I it toned it down just a little bit. Next we're going to take the puffy clouds stencil and I love this stencil it's one of my favorite stencils from Trinity Stamps. It has four different edges of clouds we've, and they're long enough to work on a slimline card, which means they're also long enough to go on a 5x7 card. So I have this 5x7 panel that I am <clears throat> adding lines of clouds down and this is in the portrait orientation. I thought that this was going to work out perfectly and I actually really like how these clouds turned out. I'll have to use it on another card because as you're going to see in a second here, this is not going to fit. I want to have a rainbow behind my unicorn and make this a five by seven card. So I'm dry fitting this, this um, rainbow behind my unicorn with the modern embossed A7 stack dies. And it doesn't quite fit. I need it to have the landscape orientation. So I go back and I re-stencil a piece of cardstock with the Puffy Clouds stencil and the Salvage Patina ink. And now I am going to add this Rainbow Builder stencil. It has a different stencil for each stripe. So you can go ahead and not worry about getting any of the inks cross contaminated and you get nice sharp arches of your rainbow. Now I'm using the Kitsch Flamingo again for the largest one. And I'm just going to go through and ink up each bow of the rainbow in a different color. You see how quickly this comes together. I think rainbows and unicorns go perfectly together and I am having so much fun using new and older products from Trinity Stamps that you might already have in your stash. Or maybe you missed them entirely and you need a reminder that they're in the store. This rainbow stencil came out last summer and I think it's been used several times for lots of different things. I know I used it a bunch of times when it first came out, but I, I keep thinking I want to play with it again. And here we have an opportunity to do that. There are several rainbow 
themed products in the Trinity line. There's a couple of die sets that are rainbow oriented. There's a slimline die set that is rainbow or uh, themed. And there's a smaller one. Uh, I can't remember what that one was called. Uh, it cut out the different stripes of the, the different bows of the rainbow in, with a stitched detail and a sun and a cloud. That was really pretty. We've got the Love Danny um, rainbow that has the coordinating dies that cuts everything apart. There's so many different beautiful rainbow products in the Trinity line. You should really check it out. We have the last bow of the rainbow here and we're going to use the salvage patina on that one. And as you can tell, I have used the same pieces of masking tape to hold down each of these sections of the stencil to get them held in place. I, there's nothing worse than your stencil sliding around when you're trying to ink through it. So it's always a good idea to take that extra second or two to tape them down and keep them nice and firm in place. I did think about adding the clouds with some um, ink blending, but then I pulled out this rainbow themed slimline die set and cut out some shimmery white cardstock with that cloud border and um, then I take the same die that I die cut the background panel from line up the clouds and tape that same die down over it and die cut it so it fits perfectly on our panel. Next I take the side clouds and I die cut that from some white glitter paper. I've had this glitter paper in my stash for a long time. I don't know if it's available anymore. Um, but there are lots of companies that use or that create white glitter cardstock. We're going to adhere these layers together and um, create a 5x7 card. No need to add extra dimension behind these. The layers of specialty paper make this pretty heavy to begin with. What do you think of that pastel rainbow. Is it too pastel for you? Is it not quite traditional enough? What do you, how do you feel about your rainbows? Do you think they can be any color combination? I think this one really turned out good. And that is, let me try and remember, Kitsch Flamingo, Carved Pumpkin, Squeeze Lemonade, Mowed Lawn, and Salvage Patina. There are all kinds of colors you could use. Now the Atelier Ink on 3 inks would make great rainbows also but I was going for a softer look and those are all very intense colors. That's why I pulled out my distress inks. Here I've layered a piece of white shimmer cardstock that I die cut from the modern embossed A7 panel a little bigger than the cloud panel cloud and rainbow panel and now I'm going to center our little unicorn right in the middle bottom of our card. I've added some coaster blank pieces behind that to pop him up just a little bit. Him or her. Could be him. Could be her. Does anybody else think these look like My Little Pony? But they have a unicorn horn so they're totally not My Little Pony. I add the Your Beautiful sentiment to that and then I pull out these iridescent these are either rainbow no unicorn tears I think they're the unicorn tears um, and I'm adding those just scattered throughout our card you can never go wrong with extra bling can you I like to create a flow from one corner of the card to another corner of the card just to draw your eye across the whole thing I'm just scattering these carefully along the card and then I will glue those down with some Barely Art Precision Glue. I'm being picky about what sizes I use and I think I may have gone a little overboard. <laughs> That's okay. I want just a few more here. I think I had just taken drops of glue and put them down on the cards and then added the gems as I went. What did you think of this card? Did you love it? I sure did. I love unicorns and rainbows. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please take a moment to do that now. If you're interested in any of the product that I use today, check that description box below. They'll be listed and linked there. And here are a couple more videos we thought you might enjoy. Until next time, bye-bye.